Hello, welcome to a new unboxing. Well, today will be a new uh, quadcopter. In fact, it's an empty uh, quadcopter. So to carry a uh, GoPro, GoPro clone, eventually with a gimbal, it's the XK X380. Well, XK brand is no more uh, less than the Double Toy subdivision. So, well, I guess they will brand with the uh, name XK or the uh, high level uh, models of the ball toy. So uh, clearly uh, this model is a new uh, revision of the double toy V303 which was uh, the first uh, brushless uh, edition for the ball toys, uh, the first AP. So we can call it also V303 version 2. So uh, here is the box. You can find a very nice box design in back edition. So what you will find in this box? Here is the quadcopter. So if you already saw uh, the V303 or already own one, it immediately reminds you the same uh, general shapes. So what you will find again, you will find these nice uh, landing gears with large feet there, okay. Uh, the ground currents is something like 12 or 13 centimeters, okay, from the bottom part of the uh, the battery compartment up to the ground, you have something like 12 30 centimeters. You will find exactly the same uh, general shape on the top, uh, the kind of uh, UFO okay, uh, style. Uh, well, uh, now the main novelty in terms of design is the uh, painting which uh, uh, fake the uh, carbon style. Okay, so it's just a stickers or painting style, but basically it's made in the same time of plastic. Okay, I will enter in more details uh, to this quadcopter later. So what also we find a huge, that's one of the main novelty of this model for the version 2, a huge battery. Uh, now it comes with 5,500 milliamps batteries. Um, I can scale it uh, in weight. Uh, rated 20C as discharge rate, not so bad in 3S edition. Okay, so close to 325 um, grams come with the XT60 uh, connectors, okay, that's all. Uh, well, they have a tie that can, uh, you can fly up to 30 minutes, I guess, without gimbal and, and uh, camera. But it's a huge model, okay. So uh, this, it comes with um, a bag with the camera mount edition, so uh, with some dampening ball, etc. It's for GoPro or GoPro clone. So you can attach it on front, okay? That's very cool. Uh, well, um, it's not a classic camera mount. It's, uh, you have some perpendicular uh, parts. Uh, so I think it's uh, absorbing less vibration than the classic four points uh, with dampening ball. It comes with a, a, a power adapter, okay? Uh, well, delivering 12 volt up to two amperes and output. Okay, and you have to uh, associate with the uh, charger. Okay, so you have to charge it with the uh, balancer plug, 3S and 2S. Here it's a 3S. It takes approximately three hours to charge. Of course, uh, I strongly advise if you continue to this hobby to buy a real charger because with this one it can be longer and not completely efficient for balancing the LiPo at least. Okay, so what it will come with? You will find the bags with three elements, um, a, a wrench to um, lock your uh, prop locks, okay, to, to tie them, a uh, small Allen key to um, unmount, to unscrew your, uh, the X screw of your motors, uh, in fact here, this type of motor, uh, the screw there, X screw, and finally an USB uh, cable ending with a micro USB. Uh, be aware uh, that uh, you have to use this one to uh, access to the uh, flying uh, contouring software well when it will be ready and uh, also to the included USB drive. So put a sticker mark, okay, so you I write it X like X350. Uh, what also it came with um, props, uh, they are uh, out of, there are nine, uh, 45, 47 models, okay. Um, the uh, shaft is 8 mm uh, with, uh, as you may see, a double side flatted part, so it's 8 mm. Uh, they are more or less DG style, okay. Um, they are out of the box quite well balanced. Uh, I didn't really uh, use to a lot of tape to balance them, so it's good. 
Uh, I notice also that uh, you can install some 10 inch props on this model, it's fitting, no problem. So if you want to increase a bit the um, uh, power, uh, the uh, flying time maybe, or your thrust capacities, you can install some 10 inch. For example, I found that this uh, model from um, Wingsland Minibet is working, but uh, so be sure to find some 8 millimeters, okay, and with double side uh, flatted there. So in order to be compatible with the, uh, uh, you may see this uh, flat part of the uh, uh, motor, motor shaft here. Okay, so it's quite usual, I will give links in the uh, description. Uh, it comes with some instruction manual, a black edition in color, it's well done. Uh, you have, but you have only the basic, okay? But you have everything you need. Um, of course, nothing about the software and grade and so on. But you will find, at least the most important, uh, the uh, colors, um, uh, meanings, okay, of, of, of the main late statues located on the rear part. I will explain later. Um, what also you will find finally, it's uh, the remote, okay, a large model, very nice to grab. Uh, you will need, uh, sorry, uh, six AA batteries to fit it. You can find um, no external plug there, I didn't find, yes, oh yes, uh, here an adapter, uh, probably to plug your charger if you install some NEMH uh, um, batteries inside, okay, it will avoid you to remove the batteries each time, so you can directly plug your adapter and recharge uh, the, the batteries inside. So it's a basic remote, but uh, we'll, you will have a large screen, that's a good and features, a large backlighted screen, LCD, so only two switch and two position switch, that's all. So the left one is for the um, headlock, headlock, so by when it's up it's uh, no headless mode and when you turn it down you are engaging the headless mode. So the reference of the headless is done when you turn on the quadcopter, so the reference if I unsign and turn in the quadcopter like this, the heading will be like this, okay, and the right switch is to just actionate the return to home. So very basic. So the first thing you can remor remark on about, no specific flight mode. Uh, it means, for example, that by default, this quadcopter is working in pure uh, GPS and GPS uh, barometer holding. It means that you cannot fly in manual mode, okay? Uh, so clearly, this quadcopter is dedicated for beginners who want a first AP uh, model, okay? To perform smooth flight for filming and, and using a GoPro clone. Um, it's probably an advantage, but also it can be a default. What's happening if you have a GPS problem, okay? If you have bad reception, it could be a potential flyaway uh, problem. Uh, so, also in this uh, remote, you will find this button, so-called takeoff. Uh, if you press it long time, uh, if you you can, if your uh, quadcopter is on the ground, you can take off. So, and it, the quadcopter will raise from one meter approximately. If you are already in, in the air, if you press it more than two seconds, you will land. So this button is used for takeoff and to land. Nice feature, is working very well, very dull for beginners, I like it. Well, finally here, uh, this button is to control, uh, if you have uh, the gimbal version or if you install yours, is to install the tilt orientation of your gimbal. So, you can control only one axis. Okay, that's already not bad. I would prefer two axis with a small joystick, but it's like this with two pots like this. Anyway, um, uh, what I can say more, you can find the trim button there, classic, and well, you, you can find some trace of potential switch here or here, but probably there are some connection inside, but uh, I'd maybe you can extend some extra switch, you can add some extra switch. Okay, I will return now to the uh, quadcopter. So, uh, notice that you have to use the uh, on USB cable, it's done. Um, let's start with the, uh, the common thing with the V303. You will find again the big two uh, LED lights. So it's green, it's 
very good, pretty cool. And if I open uh, the main novelty here, one of the main is the huge battery compartment. So you can install uh, the battery like this, no problem. It's already fitting. I can give the dimension of the battery if you want. I already gave, gave the weight. Now I can give the dimension if you want to uh, spare one. So in, um, in lens it's more than 100, uh, uh, let's say 105 millimeters. In width it's 34 millimeters. And in eight, okay, it's even maybe more, it's 40, um, 44, okay. So, I don't find there is a lot of lot of free room to install a larger model. Maybe just a few. Okay. Uh, yes. Maybe in the width position you can extend a bit. It comes with the XT uh, connector. That's a good. It's a little bit hard to uh, to remove, but it's like this. So um, one of the uh, second novelty of this uh, uh, quadcopter is uh, the new uh, transmitters. Uh, new design come with also a new uh, um, radio frequency chip now is using a Futaba protocol based so this uh, type of protocol is known to be very efficient and on each on two legs of the uh, quadcopter I can remember well I guess this one and this one uh, you will find the two uh, antenna of the 2.4 gigahertz receiver so you have a diversity uh, 2.4 uh, gigahertz receiver which is proving a lot the, the control range and it's announced to have one 1,000 meter one of control range so double the uh, uh, former one of the B303 so which is pretty good so the larger batteries and the at least the uh, double range of the control uh, it's already uh, justifying the upgrade or uh, if you are hesitating between the B303 of this one uh, I guess it's already uh, going, you are already going to this choice because you have only 30 or 40 euro uh, dollars of difference between the models, so it's almost nothing. Um, what I can say more, um, uh, well, let's look at the Venus. Uh, as you can see, uh, I installed here uh, the uh, G Walkera G2D uh, rails to uh, attach a gimbal, uh, the G2D gimbal. So it's pretty easy, out of the box, it takes one minute, it's very easy. I will show how you install after the gimbal. So when you install, you screw the rails, if you want, just clips like this, and voila, it's attached. So how to connect it, it's pretty easy. You have a, a three a ports there, I will explain. Here you will find the micro, uh, micro USB connect connection port here. Here are two ports. This one, the left one, is the power port to power your gimbal, okay? And this one is the servo plug. So let's start with the power plugs. It's delivering 3S, so close to 12 volt uh, at, at the beginning. There is no sign which is the plus and the negative uh, uh, pads. So I will tell it the most on the left, okay, if you have the USB on the left, the most on the left pins is the ground. The more on the right is the plus 12 volt, okay. I use some um, uh, uh, nails, uh, ink to write on the canopy, okay. So be sure to do a mark like this. Do not get wrong when you will connect your gimbal. The same for the servo plug. The ground is completely on the left one. The middle is a plus 5 volt and the external is a signal, okay? So you have to correctly connect. There is no sign. I would expect to have something written on the canopy. It's a drawback for me because you can cook your gimbal and much more. So uh, I don't like this, uh, this lack. Well, uh, what I can say about this V303, uh, uh, X380. I can give an indication of weight without the batteries, so I can use again my uh, small uh, scale. I will use this box uh, star, okay, and start vertically, okay. So stand alone without the battery, without props. I hope it's so in equilibrium. Yeah, it's scaling something like 618 grams. You have to add uh, 300 something, 
325, so it's already 900, um, close to 40 grams. And if you add the, uh, the props, let's say, so you have 355, sorry, so plus uh, 618, you are, you're reaching something like uh, 900, uh, blah, 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 900, um, um, close to 70, okay, more or less, approximately, close to one kilo, okay, so the total weight when it's take off, it's close to one kilo. Uh, it's a little bit heavy, but it's okay, you have some strong motors, so let's talk about the motors. Uh, they are uh, 22 uh, type, okay, with 12 millimeters eight, and they announced to be a 950 kV. So it's powerful. Uh, the shaft already mentioned about the props, so you will check that the fact that you will need some. Um, the inner part of the shaft is uh, uh, six, meter, six millimeters, and the external one is close to eight, if I'm not wrong, six, seven, but eight on the uh, non-flat uh, zone. Okay, so six inner, eight outer part of the shaft. Um, well, I can say more. Uh, yes, I said that on the two legs you are, will find the two diversity antenna, and on the third one of the legs you will find the compass. So I can't remember which one it was, uh, maybe this one or this one. So you will find the compass is not located really on the PDB power distribution board, but more on the extremity of one of the legs. So be aware. Uh, I will show in a specific video how to do the compass, but it's exactly the same way that the V303, so it's good things. Concerning the flying contouring board, well, uh, if I'm not wrong, it's more or less, uh, again, a zero UAV flying contouring board. I was able to use the uh, USB, provided USB cable and to plug on the computer, only to see the USB device. So how to do that? You had first to plug the micro USB device, like this. Okay. Plug first on your laptop, then turn on the, the, the quadcopter, okay? And you will see the, uh, all the files of the associated USB device. Unfortunately, I was not able yet to connect to the associated uh, software to configure uh, the different parameters is still under investigation. I hope to produce as soon as possible a video showing that. Okay, so I think now I described uh, the, um, the uh, I can see, yes, I can show uh, how it's working. Uh, I can plug again uh, the gimbal to show how well it's uh, working. Okay, I will correctly connect the uh, port. So the plus should be on the right. Double check each time, okay. Like this, ground well on the left, plus on the right. Okay, it's done. Uh, well, and now, oh, I modded my g 2 d for uh, a, a Mobius card, but can use whatever. And you will see uh, one of the nice features of this quadcopter is a nice and bright LEDs. So I will install the, uh, the uh, um, a plug. I can start the, the, uh, the remote first. I don't install any props. For sure. Okay. As you can see, now the gibbet is installed, it's working more or less, okay. Okay, so it's not perfectly yes, uh, done, but it's okay. So concerning the uh, back LED status, so when you saw um, two green flashing, it means that you are receiving perfectly the GPS. I am indoors, it's working already well. It means that the GPS system is really efficient, the uh, sensibility of the GPS uh, board is great. So one also main advantage of this new revision is the GPS stability and precision. It's announced to have 0 0.5 meters of uh, variance standard derivation about your position. It's great, you will see on the video, this quadcopter one is all on your position and it's pretty easy with this uh, kind of radio because uh, 
if you don't touch the sticks, release the sticks, the quadcopter will stay in place where he is, in the same altitude. It's great, and you won't deviate more than 0.5 meters. It's great to perform video platform. It's ultra stable. It's really, really great. I like these features, and it's working very well. So the third main advantage of the former edition is its grid stability, the improved stability in the GPS holding and the uh, computation of this uh, position. Okay, so when you will see uh, these two green lights, it, may, it means everything is okay. And as you see, I can see I am indoors. I'm receiving more than six satellites. I think to have more than two green lights. If you are or see one, see one and red, one red one, it means you are receiving less than six satellites. If I'm not wrong. Okay, so this less statues uh, is explained in this documentation. Okay, so for example, when you are engaging the return to home, um, you have a, a typical uh, sequence of uh, uh, LEDs. So you have a continuous red uh, uh, flash. It's it's continue a solid red uh, color. Okay, and if you so for example, uh, I don't know if you have uh, engaging the headless, it's. Uh, continuously green, fast, flashing fast, and so on. You have everything explained. Uh, it's the same than the uh, V303, V303, sorry, okay? So it's great. Uh, you can see it very well, even in the daylight. Okay, I will now conclude my uh, unboxing and quick analysis. You have to check my outdoors video, of course. Uh, well, definitively, this quadcopter is great for an entry platform model. This stability is just great, even in the, in the sorry, in the in the wind. So um, as you, as you may see, it's sometimes pretty hard to remove the XT XT60 connector. So it got a great great stability. Uh, it's not ultra fast uh, uh, quadcopter. Uh, it's moving not so fast. Maybe it can it will be, be it will be able to tune everything when the software will be ready. Uh, you have a huge amount of flying duration. Without a gimbal, you have something like 25-30 minutes. It's great. Uh, remove at least 5-10 minutes if you install a gimbal. Uh, but it's already more than 20 minutes, which is very, very really great. It's ultra stable, wind resistant. Uh, the standard deviation of your positionment is great, very low value, uh, huge batteries. Um, Nice LEDs, nice visible uh, LED statues. It's uh, ultra stable for beginners, so definitely I uh, really like it. Uh, if you are looking for such models, stable to just to make some videos, uh, and you don't care about how to fly it, this model is for you. If you are looking more for a sportive model, th this one is not for you. Choose a more sporty one, the KW 350, for example, Flying 3D X8 or Cherson 620. Uh, okay, so I will end this unboxing and quick analysis. If you have some questions, please uh, type below. Okay, uh, I will write the ERC Group's uh, thread soon uh, with a lot of photos, etc. etc. If you like this video, please submit. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Bye bye.